Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Friday, September 24th, 2010. This morning we're going to put a user interface on top of the line reading thing that I did the other day, but instead of doing that in VisualWorks, we're going to do it in Object Studio. What I want to demonstrate is how you can take the exact same domain model and use it either in VisualWorks or Object Studio. So to get started, we've loaded this package into Object Studio, and I did that just by loading the parcel. And now to show you that it works, I'm going to take the exact same file from the same directory, and I'm going to do an inspect on that, make sure it works. And sure enough, you get a collection of lines like we'd expect. So we're getting the same data from the same place. So now to build a user interface, what we want to do is we want to come over here and go to File, New, Interface from the Launcher. And it'll prompt us for a name, and I'll call this Line Reader OS UI, because I already have Line Reader UI for VisualWorks. So let's go ahead and say OK to that. We get this little window to build things in. Now, you don't have the form items available immediately. What you do is you go here, form item, new item, and it'll give you the palette of objects you can bring in. So let's build the same user interface more or less that we had in VisualWorks. We're going to take a list box. And we're going to drop that in here. So we'll make that a little bigger. I'm not going to worry so much about making this laid out beautifully. We're just going to get it to work. So I'm going to take a label, toss it over here, and I'll double click on it, and I'll put in file and call that file, hit OK. So that gives us our label. I'll move that over just a little bit. Well, actually, I tried to resize it apparently, so let's resize it back so you can see it. And now we'll come back over here, and I want to get an input field, as we're just going to have a place to type in an input file, not the most elegant solution you'd normally put in a dialog box, but we'll just go ahead with this because I want to demonstrate the same thing that I was doing in VisualWorks. So we'll call this input file. And we'll hit OK, just leave that be. Finally, we need a button because we want to process the input field. So we'll take a button, drop that over here, move that over a bit, double click on it, and I'll call this load and label it load. And now I need to hit OK. Now to hook up the behavior, I need to go to the controller menu, select events, and I want to select the load button. When it's clicked, I want to send something to the line reader OS UI and then I need to select a method for it to fire. So I'm going to hit this method button, and it's going to give me a method to write here. So I can actually write the code here, or I can go back to the browser. What I'm going to do is write it here. So I'm going to just put in items. Now let's declare that as a temporary variable first. Items. Items colon equal. Small talk. And I have to qualify this because I wrote this over in VisualWorks, so it's not in the Object Studio namespace. Line reader. On. And I'll say input file value. Because I get the value from that input field the same way that I would in VisualWorks, basically. It's a wrapper around the object. So now I'm going to put it into the list box. So list box one, which is the default name for that list element. I didn't give it a new name. Put objects is how you interact with it. And then I'm going to put the items in it. And that's really all there is to that. So I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to hit OK on that. And now that's almost done, what I need to do is double click on this and bring this up so you can see what I'm doing, hit methods, and I need to have this load clicked and copied over to the assigned methods, hit OK. Now that'll all be hooked up the way I want it to. So now all I need to do is save this somewhere. So the options up here are a little confusing. If you do save or save as, it's going to drop it out to a file using the .cls format. If you're doing this in a modern version of Object Studio, you probably want to do create and instead give it a package. So I'm going to call this line reading to drop it into the same package I've been using over in VisualWorks. And now you can see in my browser, I've got Line Reader OS UI controller. And let's bring this over a little further. You can see I've got my method here, just the way I wrote it over there in the tool. So everything seems to be set up. Now I can come over here and I can just quit the designer. And now assuming that everything works, I should be able to just go here, open this up. And now if I type in my file name, z colon backslash working 771. Well, let's put in documents first, of course. Backslash lines.txt, and then hit load, and it fills in the way I want it. So I've taken a domain model that I created in VisualWorks, and I've slapped a native Object Studio Windows 7 UI on top of it so that it looks like it belongs on Windows. So I can take domain objects that I've created in either product and use them in either product by building an UI that works pretty much anywhere I want it to. And that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.